Welcome back. The NCAA's men's basketball season officially underway. Two teams from our area getting a lot of buzz. A lot of buzz. All right. Well, remember last year when the brackets were busted by Farley Dickinson University and the year before St. Peter's? Well, those two teams, Cinderella teams they are, are about to face off in the battle of the bracket busters. Let's get right over to Tina Savasio. She has a preview for us. Yes, hey, and I have some guests as well. So there seems to be a trend in the last two NCAA men's basketball tournaments where mid-major schools from New Jersey bust your bracket in the first round and capture the hearts of millions of college basketball fans as they become that year's Cinderella. So let's go back first to 2022, the 15th seed St. Peter's Peacocks from Jersey City marched their way to the Elite Eight thanks to three thrilling upsets. First, they beat 2C Kentucky, a program that never lost a first round game under head coach John Calipari. And then two days later, beating 7 seed Murray State, they advanced to the Sweet 16. And that's when the Peacocks beat 3 seed Purdue, where no one could possibly survive their bracket. And Jersey City became the capital of the hoops world, taking down that Indiana based university. Well, earlier this year in the 2023 tournament, the Fairley Dickinson Knights kept that tradition alive by taking down the Purdue Boilermakers again this time in the first round as the number one seed. There was dancing and crying in basketball that day as FDU became just the second 16 seed to defeat a one seed in March Madness, busting everyone's brackets again and putting FDU in Hackensack, New Jersey on the national radar. And now these two Cinderella's are about to face each other in the battle of the bracket busters 2023. The game is next Wednesday, November 15th, when FDU will host St. Peter's in Hackensack. It's a 7 p.m. tip off, and you could watch it on Yes Network. And joining us now, we have representatives from the Knights and the Peacocks for uh, FDU first year head coach Jack Castleberry, who was a former assistant under head coach Tobin Anderson's team last season, and sophomore forward Joel Emanuel. And Nitro is joining us as well. <laughs> um, and from St. Peter's University, we have senior forward Omar. Omar Diame, who was on the 2022 Elite Eight team and interim athletic director uh, from St. Peter's, Katie Arcuri, as well as Peter the Peacock, joining us as well. <laughs> Coming over to the big city. Uh, thank you all for joining us here in studio before you guys face off on the court. And Joel, I'll start with you. I remember uh, the end, it was only six months ago. Your game was picking up. You guys get through that play-in game. What do you remember most about that upset and just all of March Madness? Honestly, when the game ended, I, I just remember thinking, is this real? Like, am I awake right now or is this a dream? I mean, like, the entire time coaches were constantly saying, you know, like, this game's a winnable game. We could win this game. We, we went out there and we seized the moment and we got it done. And it, it just, it was an unbelievable experience. And Coach Castleberry, you were an assistant coach last year. Coach Anderson left. You're now the head coach. Congrats. You got your first win. But Thank how you. do you take that momentum and that experience with your players and, and move that into this season? Yeah, I think you just take the lessons from last season and, and project them forward. You know, like, hey, it, it wasn't always easy. We had to go through a lot of ups and downs, but uh, you grew through the down parts. You know, we got better in March, and that's when it really mattered. Uh, Omar, that was uh, quite a run and celebrations that you guys had back in 2022. I remember the, the parade when you guys returned to Jersey City. How did that impact your life and, and being a basketball player at St. Peter's? I mean, after that run, everything changed. Like, it was a great experience. Like, we did, like, all that run. I know, like, Jersey City was proud. We were seeing, like, everybody, like, supporting us. Like, it was just an amazing thing. Now, Katie, I know ADs are involved in, in the scheduling of these games. Sure. Uh, the two teams played last year, but that was before there were Cinderella's facing off. How can this game maybe become like a little tradition? Yeah, I mean, I think, <laughs> <laughs> why not, right? I think it's yeah. something we can plan to do every year if, if the ADs agree and the coaches um, agree on it. So, yeah, it could be something that could be really exciting year in and year out, building on a tradition. Now, uh, Omar and Joel, uh, two different seasons, you know, two different situations, but you guys both had to face Purdue's big man, um, Zach Eady. Right, you got, I mean, as big men. What do you remember about just those games and how it made you better as a player as you come back this season and now, you know, two, you've played a whole nother season? How did it impact you? Um, like, I think it, it gave me a, a new level of confidence. You know, Zach Eady was obviously like the best player in the country. There was a lot of hype around him, a lot of buzz. Um, and just knowing that like you can go out there, like you can play against anybody, that, that gives me a lot of confidence coming into this season. Like no matter what big team we play, we can always, we can always win. What about you, Omar? Yeah, it was just like, like what I said, getting ready for it. Uh, like, we, we want to run it again this year. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're getting ready for it. Like, we got confidence that we can do it. We have a great team this year. And the coach is always, like, behind us, pushing us to, like, 
do it. Like, you know, it's just the coach right now playing hard, like getting ready for grand again this year. Coach Castleberry, how do you, you know, focus on the moment of this season as well and make and what are your goals for this season? Hey, listen, we, we obviously like have got a little bit of a bulls on our back now, you know, just like St. Peter's did last year, you know, and uh, but you take it one day at a time. It's kind of cliche, but really you are just trying to stack, you know, progress each day, get 1% better and, and move forward. Now, Katie, you guys, it's about 20 miles, right, from Jersey City mm -hmm. to, to Hackensack. What is your message to fans, alumni, to get out to the away game? Yeah, everybody come out and support the Peacocks <laughs> and, of course, uh, FDU as well. We're really excited about this game and, and hope everybody comes out and supports. And, by the way, this is now on Yes Network. FDU has a, a contract. What do you guys think about that? This game, I mean, the hype for this game, you guys will be on Yes Network so early in the season in a non-conference game. I mean, that's awesome. It's an amazing <laughs> opportunity. Yeah. All right, and for all of you, again, this game is next Wednesday, November 15th. A tip-off is 7 p.m. between the FDU Knights and the St. Peter's Peacocks. I mean, let's get this going. We've got this nice little rivalry <laughs> have, but you know what? Good luck to both teams, both schools this season. We hope to see both Thank of you, you representing the Northeast Conference and the MAC in March Madness in 2024. Thank all right, a little tip-off. Should we have them, like, go head-to-head -head row before? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm, I'm down here. I promise I'm here. Good <laughs> luck to the home team. So yeah. let's talk yeah. a little weather.